Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 9 of Corvette. And in this episode, we are starting, or we are continuing with the amateur arcade mode. And of course, last episode, we got all these C2 races done. So it is time for the C3 races. And now we get to use a bunch of different C3 cars. We can see what we got. We got convertibles and coupes, of course. It is funny because you can't change, or it'll automatically change to coupes if you go to ones that only have coupes, which I guess makes sense. Uh, we do have the 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, 25th anniversary edition, as well as the regular 78 Corvette, interestingly enough, 77, 76, 75, of course, all the way back to 1968. I think they messed it up, actually. I think the 68 has the little round lights. Yeah, and then the 69 has supposed to have bigger lights. Oh, maybe the 70s one has bigger lights. I don't know. Did it be stingrays though? Anyways, um, I'm just gonna pick a fucking... You know, let's go with the 76 coupe. Sure, why not? Look at our stats on here. Most popular paint option was white, interestingly enough. 46,000 Corvettes! You car... You could. Huh. Interesting. Alright, there's all of our stats. Let's go ahead and pick a color. You know what? I like orange flame. We're gonna pick orange flame. And let's see how this goes. Corvette time once again. The, the screen resolution is so low. I mean, this game is supposed to be played at 640 by 480 resolution, but... Like I said, it might have been, at least by 03, it might have been like 800 by 600. Definitely not an Xbox and PS2, though. But, let's see how the C3s do. This car is a very funky rear end. I mean, I kind of knew that already, because, like, I've seen 75, 76 Corvettes, but it did be kind of funky. Not gonna lie. With the lack of, like, an actual bumper, it just got, like, a, a point to it. Very strange. Also, we're going back within this track, finally. This is the first time we've done this. Hey, we get back here. I'm not done with you. And I guess since we've used mostly older... C3s, I guess I'll try and focus on the newer ones for this video at least. Just so we can see as much as we can. Oh geez. Careful. No, don't pass me. I hear you. I don't know where you are. Maybe the further behind me than I thought. Nope! There's one right there. I thought there was one real close to me. I can't look to the left or the right, so I can't see nothing. Did you go away? Did you stop that? Why are the arcade races harder? I still don't understand that. Like, I was just cruising through the career on this difficulty, but the arcade, for some reason, is more difficult, and I don't know why. Time for Zoom Zoom! 115 miles per hour! Didn't it say 121 was the estimated top speed? Would it actually reach that? Uh, maybe. To slow down though. There's a turn here. I still slow down too late. Because I am a good Corvette driver. Big jumps, by the way. I love San Francisco. I don't feel like this is actually supposed to be San Francisco. It might be. I actually don't know. Each generation of Corvette has their own sound. I noticed there's a little bit of difference to the sounds of the cars, and I'm not sure of why or what specifies the different sounds. I'm intrigued, to say the least. I am inside the turn for some reason. And... Just like that. 
And then we're there chicken dinner. Everybody's still running. I don't feel like waiting. I won by five seconds. Oh, well, a little under, I guess. And we did unlock that for quick race and split screen, so I definitely hadn't raced on it before. But let's continue on to our next one, which is 2500 Speedway East, which is backwards, I think, on this. So we're going to be turning left instead of right, maybe. Um, you know what? Sure, let's use the 78 25th Anniversary Edition. Most popular paint option was the only one it was available in. Silver Anniversary. No, no, uh, no codes. No most popular code, interestingly enough. Interesting. Well, there's the entire information section. So we're going to pick our singular color. I guess the special color ones, you can't change a color. So like the 53, you can't change the color to like a custom color. You can't change it on this one. I would assume uh, whenever we get some other special Corvettes unlocked, maybe even the 50th Anniversary Edition, uh, we also will not be able to change the color. I don't remember. I don't think I was able to change it on the 50th Anniversary Edition, but I don't remember much. So, whoops, I guess. Ooh, this one's faster, I think. And the other one. Yeah, we're going a lot faster. Oh, God. Also, yes, we are turning right on the oval. And also, first place right now is another one of these. Very nice. Ow. What is that for? This one's a lot faster. We're going 130 plus. All right. I was not expecting to get a 15 to 20 mile per hour speed boost from picking a car that was two years newer. <laughs> 140, yeah, let's go! 145. Oh, I almost hit 150. Oh, careful. The oval is kind of questionable. It's not the easiest thing to go around, believe it or not. Wait, what the hell? I'm getting past. It's not time for that. Later, nerd. Even though you're in the same car as me, you can't out-accelerate me, apparently. It's probably because of how awful I entered uh, turn one, I guess. No! Oh, thank you for slowing down for me. Much appreciated. <laughs> that was very much appreciated. I won by 0.14 seconds. Very nice. And there we go. There's that. And you know what? I will continue on. High Plains Air Base West. I don't know what I do and don't have unlocked actually for the quick race tracks. You know, let's see. So I don't have other Lakeside View tracks unlocked. I actually don't have 2500 Speedway West unlocked. I just realized. Why is East? Why is the first one the turn? I don't know. Forest Drive, Smoke Creek, Gambler Crater. So we still have a lot to unlock, actually, interestingly enough. Anyways, let's continue on to the airbase. And, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll do the 73, because the 73 is interesting to me. I might get a convertible, why not? It was the one year of the Corvette that had a painted front bumper and a chrome rear bumper. That's what I know about the 73 Corvette. Car steering was the most popular option. Interesting. Aw, no, no 24,000 to 28,000 VINs. There's all the information on that, and I will pick... Uh, I have actually driven a Corvette in this color, so I might as well pick that, I guess. I think it's that one. No, maybe it's this one. No, that's too custom. So it has to be this one. But yeah, I have uh, definitely driven a Corvette in this color in real life. I also drove an orange 73, I'm pretty sure it was a 73, it was a 454. 454 four-speed Corvette, is kind of cool. Well, let's see how this goes. And go! It was interesting that the car that started out as only a convertible, which was the entire C1 generation was only available as a convertible for the Corvette, did not have a convertible option for various years in the 70s and the 80s. 
Even early C4s you couldn't find in convertible. Later C4s you could, but not early ones. Oh god. I think there were ASC conversions, and that was about it. Let me pass all you schmucks. All of you. Hey look, it's somebody else in a 73 Corvette the same color as me. But you notice, painted front bumper, not painted rear bumper. Wow, I'm such a nerd. I feel so good about my nerdiness. This one actually goes pretty fast, 130. I guess the 76 was just slow. I don't I don't know. Must have been like the 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 low point for performance. Oh yeah, three laps in this track. I just noticed why. Why make everything else two laps but this three laps? I don't know. Let me think. I believe I'm gonna actually like this track too, because I do not remember going back within this track yet. Or at least this direction on it. Actually, I don't think I've been back or reverse on this track at all yet. To be honest with you. Ow! Hey, lap record. Oh, 140. Don't think we're gonna have 150 quite. Not too bad though. Also, just so you can see it, ages, because why not? I do believe that all the C3s have the same gauges. I, I need to check whenever I use the, uh, I do want to use the final year, the 82. Should probably be the next race, actually. Spoiler alert. I am winning by a C3. I am winning by a decent amount. I cannot speak English either, apparently, today. When can I ever, though? That is the question. Uh, oh, jeez. Careful. We're good. Oh, God, please. We have one more lap for some reason. I still don't know why. I feel like I'm gonna get my head chopped off by one of these airplanes. Traffic convertible seems very safe here. To be fair, it would be unsafe for any car to hit a propeller, but I guess uh, maybe a convertible would be worse, hopefully. I think I think that would happen. Hopefully? Maybe not hopefully, I don't know why I said that. Don't listen to what I'm saying. My brain is spaghettios right now. That was very close. Speaking of very close, there's AI not too far behind me. Excuse me, my friends. I would like to not interact, please. I think it's moving, by the way. It's pushing down bushes, actually. Ow. Damn it. Bush deformation. Only in my Corvette game. Oh, shit. A lot of opportunities to go off the road here. Is wonderful and fantastic. Yay. 415 total time. 10 second lead over last, and I didn't like the track as I expected. Very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue, and we'll go ahead and do Smoke, Smoke Creek Alternate West. Interestingly enough. And I'm going to go ahead and use the latest Corvette, the 82, or latest in C3, I should say. Oh yeah, it was a collector's edition, the 82. I would drive an 82 collector's edition Corvette. So 25,000 made total, 200 horsepower, cruise control was the most popular option. Manual transmissions were not available. And it was a four speed, huh. Four speed automatic, interesting. Crossfire, yep. I wonder if all the, the uh, collector's edition have crossfire. I don't know, actually. 
Look at all that information. A2 spelled the N for optional radio package, including the A-Track tape. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, um... I want to use this car in... Dark Clare. I kind of want to use a... Uh, I want to use a blue. Dark blue, I think. We'll go with that. Get a nice thumbnail picture of this car. Cruising around by the oil rigs. There's some low poly dudes over there. Low poly ass dudes. So we've got a bunch of older Corvettes. And my. Also, still without a passenger mirror, interestingly enough. I'm very intrigued by that. Why there's so many C3 and earlier Corvettes in this game that do not have passenger mirrors. Like, that seems like, at least by 1982, that would be a pretty common option to just have on your car, maybe, hopefully. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I might restart this. I might be able to catch up. We'll see. Oh, God. I don't know where my revs actually are. I don't think they're that far off. Oh, I'm catching up a little bit. They might have rubber banding, honestly. I'm not entirely sure. Or they might just suck at driving in the dirt. That also could be true. Also, it's the, the alternate reverse, I think. Is what we're doing. I, I said it. Really? Wonderful. I love being spun. Luckily, we have three laps here. I really love being spun, by the way. It's just it's my favorite pastime. I love Cal like Ranch, too. Just chilling right next to a road that Corvettes are racing on. Let's see if I can catch up now. That would be nice. I would very much appreciate not being in fifth fucking place and getting spun three times. Hopefully not three times. Hopefully only two times, please. I don't need a third time. All right, pass to 69. Pass to you all. Also interesting thing. Uh, Sometime, I think it was between 69 and 70, the Corvettes went from having the reverse lights underneath the bumper to having them, like this car, in uh, on the inside light. That was originally a brake light, but not a brake light. I also think reverse lights were mandatory, probably sometime around this time. Because uh, I know, I think you could still get Corvettes without reverse lights in like 67 at least, for the C2 generation. I'm a nerd, by the way. Especially with lighting, I am a gigantic fucking nerd. Uh, there's a lot that I don't know, I will admit, but there is also a very lot that I do know. Take it from the person who has a Dodge Intrepid with a uh, basically a full LED light conversion on the outside, minus the headlights. Even my high beams are uh, LEDs. They're really nice too, honestly. And they also double as daytime running lights, so that's also very nice. I've also learned a lot about lights just from doing like the LED light conversion and whatnot. Why is the license plate so big on this car? Does that seem big to anybody else? It seems big to me. It's very odd, to say the least. Anyways, I'm in first, which is pretty cool. And it looks like they're trying to rubber band and keep up with me, maybe? They're trying. Emphasis on trying. Because I've definitely passed them way quicker than they're attempting to pass me. That's not what I was trying to say at all. I got a new lap record, by the way. That's pretty cool. Wow, oh, it's almost like not spinning might get you a good lap time. Incredible. It's absolutely wacky. Yo, the big fast. I'm not sure what the top speed of this car is. I wonder if it's faster or slower than like the 76. It seems like it might be slower, but I'm not entirely sure because we're on dirt and this is the only straightaways we get. On this track at least. Yeah. Eh, 
it might be, uh, it might be around 120. We are kind of hitting the, the red mark at like 115. I don't know. I'd have to test it out, I guess. Taking a trip to 2500 Speedway, let's go. And, uh, nope, not finish line yet. Oh, there was 121, I think. I don't think that's enough. Oh, this is actually a pressure-sensitive pressure, pressure sensitive throttle and brake. Huh, I didn't actually ever test that in this game on PC. Watch your replay, I'm drinking water, I apologize. And because I forgot to show it while I was actually recording, uh, these are the gauges for the 82 Corvette. They are actually different from the earlier C3s, which is pretty neat. Alright, ice fun. That's as much as I need to see. So let's continue on to our final race at Tumbleweed Flats West. Which I do believe is a track I have not unlocked yet. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and use the 68 Corvette. We're going to use the first year. We'll use the last year and then the first year, because it makes sense. There we go. There's all of our stats. Mako Shark. Astro ventilation replaced side vent windows. Ooh. The last ignition switch located on the instrument panel. What? Oh, you mean like pushing the key like straight into the dash instead of putting it into the, the steering column, I think. Anyways, um, what was your most popular color in this year? It was... Oh, Posse Track was the most popular option. Huh. Uh, British green, interestingly enough. It was a slightly different green from the other green that I used. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use the yellow. I'm gonna use Safari yellow, because why not? Ooh, it's like cloudy. Ooh, spooky. Interesting. Let's get this shit done. Let's see how much of a pain in the ass the cops are. We shall see, I guess. Oh, we have a 79, almost the last year. Almost first versus last year. It was. Oh, there's a cop right there already. God damn it. Later, nerd. <laughs> I go through the shortcut and then mess you up, and then you probably lose me like instantly. Not gonna lie, 68 Corvette seems pretty quick compared to the other Corvettes I've driven in this episode. Don't know why. It seems like it accelerates faster. Ah, uh, hello? There's another one. Where did you come from? What the hell? That's messed up. Just lose me. Yep, there we go. Now well, the other car is, like, not too far behind, surprisingly. I thought that was another cop already. That is an Impala look like, not a cop. They did have Impala cop cars from the early 2000s, though. I do know that. A lot of shortcuts on this track. Hello, top kick. And I have gained my lead that I need. Lead that I need. Oh god, this car doesn't turn very well for some reason. It just doesn't turn. Where's our line mark at? Is it on the this next straightaway? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. It might be on the north. North. Also kind of east part. It's kind of tilted. I missed that shortcut. Damn. It'd be cool if they had like a little like. Now I know I'm I'm gonna be stupid for saying this because it's a 20 year old low budget racing game, but because like they try to have a story, you can tell the way, when you play through this game is like, oh you know you do your your races and then at the end of it there's a one v one like this uh, going against one of the opponents. Then they the opponents have names, so I was thinking like it would have made sense if they would have been like just had like even like a text thing that said 
uh, this person, whatever the name is, has challenged you to a 1v1 in C3 Corvettes or something like that. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I'm too, like, stupid, but also slightly creative for my own good. <laughs> I see problems, and it's like dumb stuff. It's like, the, you know, I don't have any really any complaints about the handling of this game or uh, how it plays or anything like that. But there's dumb shit like, why didn't they they expand on the fact that you're doing a one v one? I don't know. Maybe some people will agree with me. Most of you will probably think I'm dumb as hell, which I understand. Don't worry. If you don't like how a game's made, go make a game yourself, kind of thing, but maybe I will. I know very slight things about Unity. Maybe I will make a game. I, I, I don't know anything about actually making anything besides, like, 3D assets work. Which is completely unrelated to everything that we're, you know, you're seeing right now, totally. This is all just natural. Corvette, cop car. I keep saying Corvette instead of cop car. I'm really annoyed by that. I don't know why it keeps happening. And they're gone. Very nice. Negative. Uh, really gotta think about that. The fact that they lost me. Does this only have lyrics? It does have lyrics. Trying to listen to the lyrics for a second. No, it's just got a guitar solo. I swear I heard lyrics, lyrics for a second. Lyrics? I don't know. I guess the intro song technically has lyrics too, but it's not very much, to say the least. Anyways, there we go. There's the end of C3 Amateur Arcade. Josie Rodriguez has failed to take me down once again because I'm pretty sure I've raced against her 1v1 multiple times at this point. Uh, these car, this video looks like it's extra compressed for some reason. I don't know why. We got the 80 and we got a... Looks like a 73. Yeah, that is a 73. So we got, what is the other one? It's like a 68. Oh, it is 68. Nice. There's our trophy, of course. And we've unlocked all of the C3 cars for quick race, as well as Tumbleweed's Flat West. Flats West. And there we go. So there's all of that. And of course, next up will be on to fuel injection, kind of. Even though the 82 C3 technically had fuel injection. And by technically, I mean... I did the thing. I hit load instead of save. Ah. That sucks. Well, I guess I'm redoing this, but off screen because I literally just did it on screen. I don't even want to look at this. Ah, I looked at it and now I'm more sad. But anyways, I guess that's going to cool this episode i'll come back in the next episode and have everything done so thank you all so very much for watching and i'm stupid i feel really stupid thanks for watching i'll see you in the next episode